Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Cancer. So if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mark, Moon, or if you have a children in Cancer, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to post a message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. Knight of Wands. All right. My, and this is the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. Ooh. The Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. Hmm, six of Swords. Okay, so for some of you, this person is seeing you as someone who is. You don't want to commit to them. You don't want to be in a commitment with them or you don't see the possibility of having a commitment with them. So you are moving on from them. Especially if you have blocked this person for some of you. This person sees you as someone like you have blocked this person or you're blocking communication here. Eight of wands to the seven of wands. We have the ace of wands in the mix. So this is this person's perspective. I'm not saying this. This person wants a new beginning and they do want to talk to you, but this person sees you as someone who's blocking communication or you're blocking them altogether because you are moving on to someone new. You have moved on to someone new. You are moving on to someone new. You have someone new you're interested in. This person sees you as someone who's very immature and you just, you do what you please or you are, um, like you, you are not exactly commitment phobic, but you sort of like when you found a better match, you switched up your energy. You, when you found someone better, you just left them behind and chose someone new. This person might see you for some of you since we do have the Knight of Wands here. This person might see you as a player. But yeah, it's like not exactly a player, but sort of like someone who switches up their energy. Someone who switches people and keeps looking for someone better. Or the moment they find someone better, they leave the past. That's, the, that's how this person sees you. Because this person is in that energy of, I don't want reunion with you. Three of wands, three of cups. It's almost like this person was planning something here. Look at that nine of cups, world in reverse. Could be dealing with fixed signs. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. This person definitely feels unfinished business with you. But this person feels like before they could plan something, before they could have this reunion with you, you just up and left to the next option. You found someone better because Empress is the gender doesn't matter in tarot, everything is energy. Empress is um well th that's the like entire pack is sort of a thing. So you found someone better, ten of pentacles, someone who can give you more stability, someone who probably has more money than uh, them as well here because ten of pentacles that talks about pentacles, right? And the empress is very abandoned. So yeah, that's how this person sees you. Keep this six of swords. This is the king of pentacles. Yeah, you found someone much more richer for some of you. This person sees you as I don't want to say it, but this person might look at you as a gold digger. Don't get triggered, don't get offended. That's what I got with the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. This person might see you as a gold digger. Okay, so yeah. Five of Wands, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Page of Wands. You could have had a huge conflict with this person, conflict, arguments, a lot of back and forth with this person, but this person, for some of you with the Five of Wands, they do know that. Uh, there's competition here. There's definitely competition here. Could be one particular person or could be someone like other options here you have. But this person feels that you are also, this person knows that they, they see you as someone who's, you know, you have 
you are very attractive or you attract a lot of attention. You attract a lot of options. You attract a lot of competition. So since you already have those options, you are, like, you are going to explore those. Okay. So yeah. For some of you also what I got with the five of ones, this person sees you as someone who does you you unnecessarily complicated things between the both of you here. You did it. Yeah, for some of you this person does see you as a flirt. We have the page of wands and the knight of wands. It's almost this energy what I'm getting with the page of wands, the knight of wands here and the moon here is while they are, this person sees you as someone who has secrets, you always have secrets. You are a very secretive kind of a person, uh, very intuitive, but very secretive at the same time. So yeah, this person also like, they, they see you as someone like, while they are stressing about this connection, you are busy flirting with someone else or busy finding new options for yourself. Like if you wanted, you could have tried to resolve the situation, but instead you chose to flirt with someone else or find a better option. What is this? Fool in reverse. Well, the fool fell in a neutral position, but the queen of swords came out on reverse here. Four of pentacles. Hierophant. Could be dealing with the Taurus and magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. You know, this person is trying to, for some of you, I'm getting this, just take it if it resonates. For some of you, this person is trying to manifest a com commitment here. I, I'm not getting the energy they're trying to, it's, it's almost like this person sees you as someone who has found a better option. So they are trying to manifest a better option for themselves as well. Like if cancer can find a better option for themselves, I will find a better option for myself as well. I'll find someone better than cancer. Because whoever, if you have found someone new or if you're dating someone new, this person definitely feels that the other person is much better than them. So they are comparing themselves with the, with the, with, like if you have started dating someone, they are comparing themselves with that person here. So this person is in that energy of if cancer can manifest someone better, I can do it as well. So this person, for some of you, they could be trying to manifest a commitment, a better person, better commitment. Now, for some of you, if you were married to this person, this person is trying to manifest you back. Queen of Swords in reverse is someone who's overthinking a lot. This person is overthinking. Also, the Queen of Swords in reverse talks about someone who is very like emotionally, lots of lows and highs, up and down, uh, high highs, low lows sort of a thing with this person here. Could be something that like that's how this person is very there's a lot of mood swings with this person also for some of you um this person lied queen of swords in reverse is a liar they could have lied they could have cheated they could have been very rude or that's how they are could be dealing with an aries or an aquarius since we do have the fool I don't know, this person, again, with the four of pentacles, I'm getting the same energy. If this person sees you or they feel like you're a gold digger or sort of a thing, please don't get triggered, but that's what I'm getting here. That's why you don't want to take a risk with them. That's why you don't want to give to them anymore. You don't want a new beginning, fool in reverse. It's hurting this person's ego that you're choosing someone else over them or you're choosing to let go of them. It's hurting this person's ego. This person could have been wearing a mask here. I don't know why I'm getting that. High Priestess. 
and the Hierophant. Give your counterparts to each other because this is the High Priest and the High Priestess. So this person is pretending that they want someone new, they want a new beginning here. They could be trying to show to you. That's the reason why I got a mask probably. This person is trying to pretend or show. If you do get to meet this person on a regular basis, this person could be trying to pretend in front of you that they, they are looking for something, someone new, they are looking to date or they are happy, that sort of a thing. This person could be pretending right now. They feel very connected to you. With the high priestess they feel very, very connected to you yeah mood swings i'm getting again that mood swings because i'm focused on the moon here yeah and again that energy of this person really feels like you are someone who's highly intuitive but you have secrets it's like you have some sort of subtle power about yourself that's what I'm getting with the High Priestess. You do have a subtle power. For some of you, this person also sees you as like, you can read people's secrets very well or you can read people very well. If someone is trying to hide something from you, you, you are someone who will find it out. So as I said, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, this is someone who's lied. So even if this person did lie to you, those lies, those lies came out. They couldn't really keep those lies from you for long. You figured it out. For some of you, as I said, this person is faking it. They're pretending that they are happy. They're pretending that they are all good and they are looking for someone new. They are looking for a new option all while stalking you, all while trying to gather information about you, all while wanting you. So deep down they want you, but since they see you as someone who's moving on or has already moved on, found someone new, they want to do the same thing. They want to mirror back that same energy to you. This person, for some of you, they already know that you know they are faking it. They're not really happy without you. You know that because with a high priestess, you're someone who can read people well. You know that. But you won't say anything. You could be dealing with Pisces or another cancer. Yeah, eight of swords, they're stuck on you. This person is stuck on you. They're overthinking, they're stuck on you. They constantly keep thinking about you. But it's like, at the same time, this person is in that energy of they're, they're trying to show you that they don't want this. See, with the fool in reverse here, this person doesn't have that much confidence here. As I said, they're comparing with uh, they're comparing themselves with whoever new is there in your life. Now, this for some of you, this is also what I'm getting. For some of you, there's no one new, but it's like just a new version of you. You know, like you are different. You There's a new version of you. You have gone through a transformation. That's who this person is comparing themselves with. Like, so you are, they are comparing themselves with you. Like you are someone who will find better options. So, yeah. They feel very stuck on you. This person feels very stuck on you. And yeah, they, they could be stalking you. of pentacles okay yeah see see this is literally this literally card this card literally feels here look how he's like peeping and stalking you are healing yourself but look at the g's look at that the star five of swords seven of swords two of pentacles i was trying to look at this person's true intentions this is the true intentions two of pentacles seven of swords five of swords if you think this person has stopped planning or hatching plans or whatever they they have not and they're definitely keeping an eye on you. This person will try to do something here. Something could be anything. And it's going to be different for different people. 
especially if you work with this person already you know just be careful this person might try to sabotage so this is what i'm getting for some of you if you work in the same workspace this person might try to sabotage something there you know like i don't know like anything at all or spread some rumors spread some gossip about you just so that they can bring you down or really like this person might try to badmouth you that you like spread some uh, wrong information about you do something here because seven of swords five of swords that is that is a very manipulative toxic energy but this person is thinking should i do that should i not do that so as i said this person might try to badmouth you uh, spread some rumors about you this person might talk shit about you um, that's that's the exact phrase i got you know if you have common friends if you live in the same area or if you work in the same space this person might try to do that so just be careful about this person but here's the thing this person is they want to do it but they are not still sure if they are going to do it or not because this person knows that if they do something like that and that comes out because you're already highly intuitive with the high priestess you will already figure them out you will find out the truth sooner or later you will and once you do they have really crossed the line there and there's no way they can, they will ever uh, get back in your good graces again they'll just ruin their chances once and for all so this person is contemplating and thinking should i do it shouldn't i do it but they are very tempted to do it it's almost like this person is very tempted to sabotage whatever is going on in your life now for some of you is very possible especially as i said if you are dating someone new uh, this person might try to i don't know like like talk to that other person spread some rumors about you say something i don't know okay i'm getting very weird energy from this person here this person might really try to spread spread some bad gossip bad rumors about you things that are not true definitely so for some of you if you're already dating someone new or you're interested in someone new this person will try to sabotage that for some of you this is a workplace situation and this person will try to ruin your reputation in work or if you have common friends and families or you live in the same place this person will definitely try to make sure that is this almost like this person wants to create a mess in your life because they're not happy they're not happy that and, and no wonder queen of swords in reverse is a liar is a liar cheater manipulative person and then we have the five of swords and the seven of swords but yeah five and seven of swords we have the two of swords in the mix two of swords is someone making decision very similar energy with the two of pentacles You're focused on your own healing. That's what it feels like. The star is in between all of this. You're focused on your own healing. This person feels like if they do end up doing talk shit about you to, um, you know, like um, get your, as I said, to to sabotage something here. This person knows that they will not be able to heal it ever again. Things between the both of you that can never be healed again. so they will have to make their peace so this person is only going to do something like that when they have made a decision whether they uh, like they are over you and they are moving on to the next person not maybe emotionally over you emotionally still stuck on you thinking about you but they have decided they they want to find someone new or or for some of you once this person finds someone new they will do this so yeah Okay. You could be dealing with the Leo. You could be dating someone. As I said, for some of you, dating someone new or you are interested in someone new, that person could be a Leo. world and reverse so some of you know that this person will try to do something here 
See, the hypnotist is already someone who's highly intuitive. She knows things. So for some of you, you know this this is not over and this person will try to do something or they will try to make a comeback here. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. You do have strong feelings for this person. For some of you, you still care about this person. It's very possible you had strong feelings for this person and you, and you still care about this person. So there's this empathy you have for this person. Hermit. Maybe dealing with a Virgo. You, you, for some of you, have empathy for this person. You have some deep empathy. And you will not try to do anything bad or try to create uh, some unnecessary mess here. For some of you, you know this person has feelings for you or... It's like, it's this weird energy of they have feelings for you, but... At the same time, they were toxic. So, yeah. New, new beginning with you you know they feel unfinished business with you and they want you you know that see we already saw the empress right nine of pentacles is the free empress energy so as i said th this doesn't have to be you have found someone new or you're dating someone new this could be just you have found yourself you have changed you have evolved you have grown so you know this person wants you and <clears throat> they want you You know that the, for some of you know this person wants to be with you again three of cups reunion yeah knight of cups i don't know why it's, i felt like this is the king of cups but this is the knight of cups um yeah see page of swords at the bottom of the deck i told you this person is talking to you this person is keeping an eye on you they are collecting information about you for some of you if you are dating someone new if you're interested in someone new this person is talking that person stalking the hell out of that person as well What do they do? Why do they have so much money? Do they have generational wealth? Have they their own business? Whatever. This person wants to find out everything about your new person of interest. About the new person you're interested in. You know, for some of you, you, you feel like this person is someone, a very hopeless, romantic kind of a person here. So they are someone who will tell a lot of things, like sort of that love bombing energy, but you know kind of like they will tell a lot of things they will be very like prince charming princess charming but then they don't really value you once they have that once they have that person they don't value them anymore it's like it's a game for this person they want to win someone over but that's it so for some of you that's how you see this person what was at the bottom of the deck I've forgotten. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna put all of these back. Five of Pentacles. So you felt abandoned by this person? For some of you? You could be dealing with someone who's very materialistic or money hungry kind of a person. That's the reason. It's a lot of time when people think something about the other person, they are themselves that way. So this person thinks as thinks of you as a gold digger, they themselves are that way. That's the reason why they think about you. That is simple projection. So for some of you, that's that might resonate. King of Cups. King of Wands. Jeez. Yeah. Some of you, there are two people here. You do have two options. Both of these could be a new person or this could be... The King of Cups can be a past person and the King of Wands is someone new. 
yeah for some of you four of swords here and the page of wands for some of you you know like you know telepathically or energetically you you know this person will be back they want another chance with you you can see it happening for some of you, you might also know that this person will try to sabotage you know they will try to sabotage if you're dating someone new or they will try to they will try to do something to sabotage uh, your success whoever you're dating yeah see you have options yeah it's like it's like which one would you choose you are going to choose what makes you happy look at that emperor we did see the empress and now we have the emperor you're definitely manifesting someone who's going to be your match but yeah look at that eight of cups and a hangman yeah, you are have emotionally detached or you're emotionally detaching from this person. For some of you, you have already walked away from this person or you're walking away. But yeah, it could be a past, present or a future predictive energy as well. Uh, yeah, because you know better. The reason you're walking away from this person is because with the hangman, you have had a perspective change and change and you know better. You know what you deserve. You know what you want. You know what you want to build with someone. And you might feel like this person is, like you, you can't have that with this person because this person is almost like the knight of cups so very charming but they don't exactly know your value or they don't exactly invest in a connection properly if you're already dating someone you know keep it under wraps if you've already met someone new dating someone new keep it like oh look at that king of swords we saw the king of pentacles king of wands king of cups king of swords and we also saw the emperor all the four kings that's the manifestation the four kings combined is the emperor yeah some of you are manifesting something someone who's going to be a good match for you like physically emotionally energetically it is going to be a good match and if you have if you are like dating someone like that or found someone like that don't let anyone know at least not right now but this person is still lurking around this is literally someone lurking around and lovers okay this is what i'm getting page of cups at the bottom of the deck uh this is what i'm getting for some of you i was trying to look at the challenge in this connection this could be for some of you this is a past life connection and you have some lessons you need to learn from this connection or from this particular person here you needed to learn some lesson that lesson could be simply just how to choose better how to uh, know yourself better know your value better and choose better how to know when to walk away from a person no matter how much you miss them have empathy for them sometimes you have to walk away from a person so that's the lesson you're le learning for some of you this is some this you have a past life uh, karma with this person here and that's the reason why this person is still lurking around in your life or they, that's the reason why they came in your life for some of you you might have kids with this person or this could be for some of you it's also very possible this connection was you know helping you understand some childhood woundings or traumas you had that could be it as well so take it how it resonates Got a 
this is knight of pentacles in reverse yeah see and I, I never trust the knight of pentacles in reverse upright this is a very good energy stable loyal honest reverse combined with that magician this is not an energy you should trust for some of you this person will come back with an offer of like um, with the intention of like I just want to heal this I don't want us to leave you know it's almost like this person for some of you they will come back for closure they're going to pretend that they're back for closure like I don't want to uh, I don't want us to end in bad terms I want us to uh, I want both of us to sort this out have some closure you know and but that is going to be sort of like an excuse for this person to try to slither back in your life for some of you this is again i'm getting this randomly if you lived on the same roof this this person might be back because like oh i left this item and at your place you know that sort of a thing for some of you this person might try some tricks here seven of wands in reverse you know this person is gonna hope that they your guards come down when they um try to sort things out with you i'm not saying this person will try to ask you for another chance but this person will be like let's let's not make this work let's not leave each other on bad terms let's just have a proper closure three of swords here yeah you need to do your healing for some of you this is some inner child healing you need to do and you could be already you 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 know that there's something i need to work on this this is what i need to heal uh, i have this wounding i have this trauma i'm carrying and i need to heal this for some of you could be already doing that shadow work some, sometimes it happens subconsciously sometimes it happens when you are things become very clear when you are sleeping or like in your dreams your dreams could be bringing in a lot of clarity look at that three of swords four of swords we have the ace of swords in the mix your dreams could be bringing a lot of clarity so pay attention to your dreams What I'm getting with the Hierophant here is the outcome is you have learned your lessons here or you are this close to just lo learning the lesson and completing that chapter, completing that cycle so you can move forward. You're almost there. Queen of Cups. For some of you, you have learned your lesson that who should you trust, who should you give your cup of love to, who should you open up to emotionally. Okay. Oh, look at that. We have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. We are manifesting a water sign here for some of you Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio another water sign that's who you're manifesting and once this connection comes in or you're manifesting that you manifest this you just have to make sure that you can that your guards need to come down you know a lot of times when you're hurt we our guards are pretty up and we find it very difficult to trust someone new so yeah you have someone new coming in And as the outcome with this person, I'm getting with the energy of you have already learned your lesson. What was at the bottom of the deck? I forgot to see. 
love call thinking of you this person really does miss you okay i'm gonna use this deck i don't know so what's at the bottom of the deck yeah keeping an eye on you obsessed with you what did i say kids or there's um something from your childhood some past traumas this person could be very very attracted to you because you are like the forbidden fruit to them i can't show this image yeah this person is there's a decision We also have witchcraft here, so just be careful about this person. There's a lot of negative energy with this person here attached to this person. Well, that's your reading, Cancer. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.